Hello everyone, my name is Nuvola and welcome to another video. Today we're making a turtle farm, giving you all the scoot and seagrass you will ever need. It works on both Java and Bedrock Edition, it's very simple to build and you can find the material list in the description below. So without further ado, let me show you around. Let's go! After you're done with this build, all you will need to do is hop onto this walkway, feed your sea turtles with some seagrass, they will mate and they will lay some turtle eggs on top of these sand blocks. Now you can harvest these turtle eggs using a silk touch pickaxe, but you can also leave them alone and let them hatch. Once a baby turtle is born, it can swim around freely down below together with its pals. Once it grows up, it will drop a scoot. The scoot will drop down below on top of a hopper where it is collected in a chest. Because a big turtle doesn't fit in this one block space down below here, it will suffocate in the walls. When a turtle dies, it drops a bunch of sea grass, which you can use to feed your turtles with. And each time a turtle breeds, you have a chance of one up to four turtle eggs, making this a pretty self-sufficient farm. There's an entryway to the output chest at the back of the farm. You can also build this in the front if you like, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let me show you how to build this. Let's start. On screen you can see the dimension of the turtle shell. Do note that you will need a little bit more space if you want to beautify the surroundings as well. And we'll start off with the edge of the turtle shell made out of quartz blocks. Make your way along the side towards the front. When you get to this point, you want to move one block up. So you can use a temporary block right here and then build like this. We'll move another layer up just like this. And we'll build up one more layer until we get to the middle. So in the end, it should look like this. And you can now repeat this on the other side. From the front, it should look like this. And from above, it looks like this. Using green terracotta, we are now going to make the frame for the turtle shell. Now this can be a little bit tricky to do, I hope that I'm showing you this slowly enough for you to follow. If not, then do note that I will show you a small overview at the end. This is how it should look on the side and repeat this on the other side. We are now going to connect the front side as well and because a turtle shell is round we are going to build it up a little bit higher than the top of the edge of the turtle shell. Thank you. 
this is what it should look like in the end. Feel free to pause the video here and make sure that you get this right. After you are happy with the frame as it is, it's time to fill in the rest of the turtle shell using green stained glass. Now this can be a little bit tricky as well. And do note that if you break glass without a silk touch pickaxe, that you will lose the glass block. So when you build this, you may want to get some extra glass just in case. And you want to repeat this on both sides. And once you're happy, you can fill in the top as well. And that's basically your turtle shell. We're now gonna work on the inside. I like to work in a checkerboard pattern using mud bricks and packed mud. And from this block make a line towards the other side and fill in the front of the turtle shell using this checkerboard pattern of mud bricks and packed mud. This is pretty much the entryway to your farm. Now from this point, you can also fill in the sides. After you filled in the sides and the back as well, you should end up with a square of 9x9 nine nine blocks in the middle out of sand. Now from this square, we are going to dig down two blocks from this corner all the way to the other side and make our way around. At the back side, dig your way underneath the quartz blocks. And then we are going to dig away trenches each other block to the other side so that you end up with 16 pillars of two blocks high with sand on top. To make it look a little bit prettier, I like to fill in the walls using this checkerboard pattern of mud bricks and packed mud as well. And once you're done, it should look like this. There is a chance that you will fall into this pit, so to make sure that you can get out, you want to place a ladder in the corner right here. And then place buckets of water in each corner of this pit. All of the water should flow towards the middle, and the middle block should be dry. Dig down three blocks from here, and make your way towards the back of the build or towards the front if you would like the entryway at the front side. Once you're at the back, make your way out or first, like I'm doing, make some space around the hole in the middle of the farm. Place down a chest right here with a hopper facing into it and a glass block on top of the chest. The hopper should be down the hole in the middle of the farm. So everything that falls down there is picked up by the hopper. 
place down some ladders at the entryway and a trapdoor on top to make your way in and out towards the output chest. We now need to make sure that the turtles are not able to escape the farm area. So we're going to fill in the walls using the packed mud and the mud bricks as well. Do this on both sides and at the back of the farm. Place down a row of fences at the front side of the farm but leave some space because we still need to get our turtles inside. First we are going to make our walkway across the farm, which we'll need to feed the turtles and to silk touch our turtle eggs. Make your way to the back of the farm, and place down trap doors at the lower side of the second block. And that way the turtles can move beneath these trap doors and you can walk across them and jump up to this. It's now time to get your turtles. Use some seagrass to lure them towards your farm. And this can be a little bit of a slow process. But once they're inside, I recommend getting at least four, but preferably six turtles. You can close off the area. And your farm is pretty much functional. Now, whenever you feed your turtles and they will lay some eggs, it will take some time for those eggs to hatch. But once they do, you will get these little turtles. They will swim around freely and at a certain point they will grow up into adult turtles, which are too big for these one block channels. Therefore, they will suffocate and they will die. And once a turtle dies, it drops some seagrass, which you can use to breed your turtles. Whenever a small turtle grows into a grown-up turtle, it drops a scoot, which you can use for to craft the turtle helmet or in potion brewing. All that is left to do now is to decorate the farm a little bit and make sure that it's lit up as well. So I'm trying to blend in the lighting into the build by using glow lichen which is a little bit less intrusive and i also place down some glow berries some vines and some leaves On top of the turtle shell you can place down some moss carpets and leaves as well to make it look a little bit more overgrown as if it's been here for a while. And finally, you can place down some sugar cane around the farm and build a couple of palm trees. I like to use jungle wood for this and I will show you how I build them, but feel free to do whatever you like. I'm building one big palm tree and one smaller palm tree. Don't forget that palm trees have coconuts, so place down some cocoa beans as well.
And that's it, your farm is now fully functional and it also looks good. So that's it for me, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like if you did, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this, and stick around, consider subscribing. World downloads are available for members and we have a free discord server that you can join via the link in the description. I hope to see you in the next one and have a great day. Cheers!